It appears the court of public opinion may have passed judgment too quickly on a viral video. Over the weekend, you may have seen a short clip that showed what looked like a teen confronting a Native American elder at the Lincoln Memorial. Uh, it led, of course, to outrage and condemnation. But as CNN national correspondent Sarah Seidner shows us, the emergence of another video gives a different perspective. The Catholic high school student who comes face to face with a Native American elder in a viral video is now responding. In a statement, student Nick Sandman says the viral video does not reflect the true nature of events when the students arrived at the Lincoln Memorial. When we arrived, we noticed four African American protesters who were also on the steps of the Lincoln Memorial. He said the protesters said hateful things. Indeed, a small group of black men who identify as Hebrew Israelites did say hateful things to seemingly everyone around them, including a priest. And the students. See how you got these pompous bastards come down here in, in the middle of a, a native rally with their dirty ass hat on? When a black visitor tries to stand up against their rhetoric, he faces hate too. You got all these dirty ass crackers behind you right. with a red, with a red make America break hat again on and your coon ass you want to fight your brother. At first, the Catholic students there for the March for Life are still in small numbers, but more and more show up, watching, but not engaging. The small group of men continue taunting them. A bunch of incest babies. A bunch of babies made out of incest. Sandman says the rhetoric was startling. Because we were being loudly attacked and taunted in public, a student asked one of our teacher chaperones for permission to begin school spirit chants to counter the hateful things that were being shouted at our group. And they do. At one point, a student removes his shirt and the chants drown everything out. Two minutes later, you hear a drum beat. That is Nathan Phillips, an Omaha tribe elder and another drummer. Phillips says it was their attempt to thwart potential violence. The kids dance to it. They begin chanting, some doing a tomahawk chop, which Native Americans consider offensive. I realized I had put myself in a really dangerous situation, you know. There's like, here's a group of people who were angry at somebody else, and I put myself in front of that. Phillips, a Vietnam veteran, walks around. Other students avoid him until you see him come face to face with the student who has now gone viral. In his statement, the student says he was the one trying to de-escalate the situation, not Phillips. I believe that by remaining motionless and calm, I was helping to defuse the situation. I realized everyone had cameras and that perhaps a group of adults was trying to provoke a group of teenagers into a larger conflict. Sandman has every opportunity to move back. So does Phillips. Neither do. While they faced off, the kids faced more taunting from the Hebrew Israelite group. This is a bunch of school That's right. While Phillips maintains he felt the kids were mocking him and being rude, Sandman says it was the adults using hateful words and trying to provoke the kids, not the other way around. After seeing the initial viral video, the diocese that oversees the Covington Catholic High School in Kentucky condemned the students' behavior towards Native Americans, saying they would also investigate. The mayor of their city also condemned them. But now, Congressman Thomas Massey, who represents their district, is praising them, tweeting in part, in the face of racist and homosexual slurs, the young boys refuse to reciprocate or disrespect anyone, even when taunted by homophobic bigots, which was obviously bewildering to them. They insulted no one. The congressman said it was his honor to represent them. Back to you.